Good morning. Good morning there. We'll start here in about 30 seconds. Good morning. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll have a whole bunch of news here in just a second. Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> Okay, here's, uh, here's the update. So, again, all this is very preliminary, and all this information is I'm getting from multiple uh, state and federal officials, as well as uh, people on the ground. <clears throat> so, the story up here, all over Western, Central, and Southern Florida, there's about two and a half million people without power. Um, and so, you'll go, I'm up in south, south side of Sarasota, you'll go a block, and there'll be a power for a very a block by block and then you'll go 10 miles there's no there's there's no power people are lining up at gas stations but there's no gas and if a station has power there's no gas and if they don't uh, it's a lot of gas pumps so uh, actually I found a place where it actually has internet I, I just drove in this area my phone went to four bars but virtually you have no internet no data no information uh, from Sarasota South there's virtually no communications there may be somebody getting out um, if they have special applications. So what I know right now is that um, the biggest news, and, and unfortunately it's very sad news, um, um, uh, Captiva and Boca Grande, this area here was obliterated, uh, unfortunately. Uh, there are reports are from Lake County, there are hundreds of deaths in this area, okay? Don't have any Pacific. There's thousands of 911 calls that are still being worked by uh, rescue. Um, the Coast Guard, the Coast Guard helicopters, I don't know how many, there are many uh, rescues underway uh, this morning at, at daylight all along the Outer Barrier Islands. They're pulling people off roofs, they're pulling them off the ground. Uh, I do uh, talk to state officials, there are ongoing operations, uh, search and rescue all along the coast, both by boat, both by helicopter and ground units. Our ground units are surging in there from all directions now, okay, to the southwest. It, it's massive, it's catastrophic. Uh, the news coming out of southwest Florida in the coming days is gonna be horrific, both on the injury, the trapped, and the deaths. Toll's gonna be pretty high, if not really high. Um, so these are, there's things I'm hearing from the people that are in the know on the ground. Um, <clears throat> there's there's so much news and coverage. A lot of these areas are um, not accessible. Um, easily um, for all kinds of different reasons. Again, no food, water, uh, things. So you're gonna have you're gonna have hundreds of thousands, not millions of people, and I can tell you, with the power being out as widespread as it is, there's gonna be people in the coming days looking for food and water, even if you weren't in a direct area. I will tell you also, in chasing the hurricane last night, this afternoon, that the hurricane, um, as it made its way over here to uh, Port Charlotte and, and, and this area, the eye, um, and you saw the footage from me filming the bridge here with the cranes and the buildings there in the, in, in the northeast aisle wall and then became the north aisle and then turned to the northwest aisle wall. From this, from to the left of the track where we had the real heavy convection, there is major wind damage, massive wind damage. Um, normally, you, that northeast quadrant and eastern quadrant is bad, but we had a lot of convection that uh, died off, um, weakened. Uh, southeast of the eye. They still had rain, still had wind. The storm surge was massive down here. They also have got pictures and video that was sent to me this morning on, on social too. And again, I don't know what part in Naples, many, many homes in the Naples area had five, eight, 10 feet of water in many neighborhoods in the Naples area. This area is also a massive disaster. Deep, deep, deep water in many, many homes. And again, I don't know which additions, uh, where they were located, but I just know there's major water in, in addition in this area. Uh, the other word I'm hearing is um, there's there's so much information to tell you here. Um, I do know I physically saw this and filmed this. I was very concerned. I told you two days ago I was very concerned about the mobile homes uh, up from Venice all the way down to Inglewood. I can confirm uh, there's there's mobile home damage. I do not know about injuries. Uh, when I made it to this area last night in the back western eye wall, the winds here were 120, 130. Uh, and when I was back over here, uh, they were gusting up. I think Port Iguana on the western eye wall reported wind gusts, max wind gusts of 140 miles an hour. So this area in this area. 
area after the eye was passing the northwest eye wall in this area was just absolutely hammered with high end cat four so there's massive damage roof damage apartment you know there's there's failures of mobile homes and uh, there's there are mobile homes that are heavily damaged from uh, from Venice area south Venice down to Inglewood I was in this area last night and I could not transmit and have damage I do not know what any injuries of any injuries I'm sure there probably are or fatalities in this Inglewood but this area also had massive wind damage a lot of homes I saw a lot of roofs off buildings telephone pulls down the normal stuff you can see with a uh, cat 4 hurricane but I will tell you there are there is damage in mobile home these big mobile home areas in here there's damage I saw multiple mobile homes that were destroyed uh, there was there was when I was in South Venice last night I was getting storm surge with the Northwest eye it was starting to flood um, the Venice area these all these tributaries is back areas this was out of its banks I almost got cut off here with about two to four foot of water over the roadways last night with a hard Northwest wind so this area went, not only had wind damage, they had storm surge, it was bad. And again, I, you can see all the red in the air trying to get in there, but I will tell you this, communications are extremely tough, all the way from really even up here at Sarasota southward. Um, I also got a word from Jeff Gammons this morning, the sheriff over here near Arcadia, as the river came out of its banks, um, let me get the right name here, the Peace River, I believe that's correct, Peace River. Yeah, the Peace River, all the way from Charlotte, as the eye went up there with the fresh water, in, uh, with fresh water and also storm surge on the back part of Port Charlotte here, the water, the river uh, rose enormously. I don't have numbers or the totals, but uh, per the sheriff, uh, as of about 6 a.m. this morning in the Arcadia area, the Peace River came out and washed many, many homes away with people in them at one or two in the morning. There are an unknown amount of people that uh, could have lost their lives uh, in this general area. And again, I don't have any more statistics said. It's that the river got out of its banks and washed many homes away northwest of Arcadia. So you see in the red. Again, I don't have numbers. I'm telling you what the sheriff told another chaser. And he was there for five hours stranded and couldn't get across 70 because the water was running across 70, right? But there's massive uh, inundation in this area. So we know that. So that's what I know right now. I'm on my way south. I've got gas. I've got the tire repaired. Um, so I'm going to go down there and start um, filming and see what I can find. But there's virtually no communications from uh, Sarasota. And again, uh, Sarasota is southward. And maybe you got communications for Fort Lauderdale. The southeast side of the state may have communications. But virtually this area where we don't have power from north of Tampa all the way southward down here. There's no power and there's very little or no communications at all. Uh, this area down here, right? So that's what's going on. So once I leave this area, I will not have communications again today uh, unless I just happen to come across something where I've got a, a Wi-Fi or cell source. But again, power's out. Um, major to catastrophic damage um, from Marco Island, Naples, Fort Myers, Santa Bella Island, the center went over Captiva, Boca Grande. This is all massive storm surge. I, I can't tell you how bad it is. Just car catastrophic storm surge in this whole area, right? As you get northwest of the eye, where the eye came across in this area, I was in Inglewood when the eye was like literally like right here, the north eye. I mean, it was, I was like five miles from north eye, eye wall, and I could tell the winds were 120 to 145, 150 in this area, and they were unbelievable damage. I mean, I had roofs coming off buildings right I was in this area, flying over my head. I mean, it was horrible. Um, and then last night, limping out of the Port Charlotte area and that area, uh, came back north on 75 and made it on 75. And there's massive damage all along 75. I saw a car, a car hit a, a two foot diameter tree uh, uh, shortly before me at 80, 70 miles an hour in the hurricane and totaled the car. They abandoned the car on the interstate. Many, many trees are down along 75. When the winds are out of the northeast, the trees fell into the inside lane, northbound on 75. Don't know if they've got those clear yet this morning. So anyway, just again, the whole area's got massive damage and it's gonna be days before we know um, a real number on um, fatalities and, and injuries and trips. But I do know there's ongoing rescues by multiple agencies and there's many, many helicopters and boats and rescues ongoing uh, going on down in Captiva, this whole area. Sanibel Island, I understand is, um, uh, Santa Bella Bridge, I understand, over to Santa Bella is collapsed in the water. Uh, there's water rescues. Helicopter rescues are underway since daylight this morning. Captiva, Santa Bella Island, possibly Fort Myers Beach, back over in this way. But this Outer Bear Islands, there's many, many people stranded uh, on those islands and that did not evacuate. And they're being rescued, from my understanding, off roofs and off the ground by U.S. Go US Coast Guard helicopters. Uh, uh, 
do not have any confirmation. I do, except for the Lee County Sheriff says there's hundreds of fatalities. I do not have any more information than that. And that's all I, that's, I'm just repeating what the Lee County Sheriff released this morning. And that's all I'm aware of, right? But anyway, massive ongoing operations, uh, search and rescue from air, from the, from the from the Gulf side, we got boats being launched. I believe the military's got Navy ships coming in. So there's a massive response underway all over Southwest Florida, right? So the coming days and hours, probably in a couple of days, we'll know more. Anyway, I'm heading south. That's all I can tell you right now. It's what I know, but uh, I can tell you right here. This is just, I'll go outside here real quick. South side of uh, Sursa, like just up the road here, there was, um, a canopy's ripped off. I got gas stations ripped off. You go to block or two, you're fine with some power. This has got power at this intersection here, just west of downtown. You go another block or two, and there's no power, right? And uh, people are lined up. I see people, I see food trucks coming into Sarasota, and there's 100 people standing in line at food trucks on the north side of Sarasota. So people are waiting for power, trying to get on. They're, they're already lining up. People are lining up their gas station and walk away from the car because as soon as there is gas, they're trying to be first in line. So these are the things I'm witnessing on the ground in Southwest Florida this morning. And I'm sure as I go south, it's going to be worse. But I'll give you updates as, as I can get stuff out to you and tell you what's happening. But that's the current conditions in Southwest Florida. That's it. That's, I wish I had better news for you guys. Yeah, and the hurricane is restrengthened. It's going to be go back to a hurricane making landfall on the southeast coast. Watch it. My gut is it's going to be overperformer again, both on winds and possibly storm surge. But I think the main thing is going to be wind. But uh, the hurricane uh, watches out on the southeast coast there. Uh, do not be surprised if this is an overperformer. It's going to be Cat 2, but be prepared for a high end Cat 1 or higher. Uh, but most of them are around the Cat 1 range. So uh, don't be surprised if you have a lot of wind damage up there with this thing. Um, just FYI. That's it. That's all I've got for you. I've got to get on the road, and we'll be back with you guys later today. Thank you so much.